guys joining me today. Um, today I'm just going to do a very quick thing to talk about my lipstick. So I've had a couple of questions recently from people asking about what my lipstick is, how I you know what the colour is and uh, what it is I'm doing with it. I do a number of different things depending on the look that I want to achieve. At the moment I'm really liking these sort of matte uh, lipsticks which uh, this is an example of the matte lipstick which I really like. And I thought I'd just give you a bit of an overview of what it is, show you the products, and uh, kind of share what I have in my bag of tricks. So this is my pencil case that I keep all my pencil type stuff in. So in here I typically will have my eyebrow pencil, uh, I have another eyebrow pencil, I have lip pencils, this one of my lip pencils, and I have uh, this one. So a couple of lip pencils. So I'm going to talk about a couple of colour combinations I use. So at the moment I've been kind of going with either um, traditional purple, I've been wearing purple for three years or so now, or pinks. I do do some reds, but um, if I went the blonde, red is pretty good. It's, yeah, it, it's an okay colour, I can wear it fine. But I really like the purple, it's unusual, and the pink is nice and more muted, slightly more muted look, but it still stands out, it's really good stuff. First thing I'll start by showing you the two lip pencils I use. Now my camera is not going to be able to focus particularly well on these but um, this is the first colour. This is the lip liner that I wear with the pink. Okay so give you a bit of an idea of what that is. It's a MAC lip liner, it's called More to Love. It's a pro long wear lip pencil called More to Love. Now what I'd say about this is um, I actually went down to the MAC store in Brighton. I bought this online, I went to the Max of Brighton because I'd had a problem with the pencil. I couldn't work out what to do with it. Now if you, if you haven't been to see this very well, but if you have a look at this uh, lip pencil, okay, um, you can't see that particularly well. But the the whole pencil is actually looks very plasticky. It's very plasticky. And the end twists. Okay, so the end here is a colour twists. So I was thinking to myself, oh, it must be one of those propelling ones. It's plastic, it twists. So it's a plastic propelling one. It didn't work. So I went down to um, to the Mac store in Brighton, where I happened to be, and I spoke to them, and they told me that it sharpens like a normal pencil. So unfortunately, I went down to a Mac store with a pencil and said, I don't know how to sharpen this effectively. And they said, you sharpen it like a pencil. And so the woman just chopped it for me and pointed it. And I went off looking like a bit of a mug. Um, but there we go. Not much you can do about that. So look, we're all learning. And there's a good example of how I did that um, about three months ago. So, yeah, you live and learn. Anyway, this is um, the pink. Now, I also have my traditional purple. I've been wearing this purple for years. And this is a colour called Night Moth. This, I've had it for ages, you can see it's still quite a long pencil. This is Night Moth, which is the purple colour from MAC. And this is a really, really interesting colour. Now I'm wearing this at the moment, so I'll just get a little bit closer so you can see um, the lips themselves. So you can see the slightly darker colour around the edge. That is the Night Moth. Okay, so I'm using Night Moth Purple. Now, when I'm wearing the pink lip liner, purple lip liner. With the pink, I use this MAC pink lipstick. When I'm using the purple, I'm currently using, which is what I'm wearing right now, this purple MAC. Now, on camera they don't look too different, but I'll just hold them up so you can see that they are quite different. Okay, so pink here, purple here. So these are two MAC lipsticks that I use. The pink is called Slipper Orchid, and they are retro matte lipsticks, and the purple is called Atomized. And I'll just show you the purple one. The way they work is that inside here, you've basically got a wand, and you just apply that directly to the lip. Okay, so you've got this sort of wand effect here, purpley. And I like these because they're matte, they're very long lasting, but they come off quite easy as well. So they're very long lasting, they um, uh, stay on the lips very well. Much better I find than a normal traditional sort of um, uh, oily lipstick and they're, they're not actually oily at all. 
Uh, there's a bit of spark in the atomized one. Um, the the pink one, not so much, but the atomized purple. A little bit of spark in there as well. And the other day I found something which I thought I would try, which I'm wearing at the moment. And I've been a bit too mind about this one, but I got this anyway. Uh, I found this uh, from Rimmel, which is called Lip Art. And uh, I normally wear, uh, I have two different types of gloss that I can put on the top. One's a sort of liquid gloss that's very messy and it is very bright and shiny, but it will be quite, it's quite slippery and it will, um, uh, it'll go everywhere basically. And then I've got a sort of more gel style lip gloss that I use as well, it comes in a little pot. And I've been using that for a while, but I thought I'd try this instead. And this is from, like I said, from Rimmel's called Lip Art. And what it basically is, it's a silver top coat. They do this in three different colours. So it's a silver one, a gold one, and a, I don't know, like a yeah, rose, sort of rose shade. And I got the silver one. And I think I need to, to work with this a little bit. But as you can see, it's, it looks white, basically. It, it's just a sort of silvery colour. And what this does is I've applied it over the top of the lips. And it's given a nice sort of shimmering sparkle to the relatively matte purple. And so I'm, I'm trying that one. That one looks quite... It seems okay. Now I saw in the store they had examples of how this lip top coat can be used to create quite unique looks. And one of them, for example, they had a uh, entirely... Um, uh, sort of completely done lip, uh, let's say red, purple, whatever. But then they've done a stripe on the bottom lip, on the middle, straight down the bottom lip of just a bold silver. Another one where they've done silver on the inside of the lips, and obviously, you know, it makes your lips look fuller if they're lighter on the inside, it makes it look fuller and more plump. But this effectively is what we've got today. So, like this. So you can see some of the shimmer on there. Well, I quite like it. it. It's not too bad. It's as a replacement for lip gloss. I think this is pretty decent. So I'm going to try a few more experimental things. Uh, given how I applied it over the top of my current lipstick, the lipstick just goes straight through it. So um, you can't apply this on top and get what I would call a distinctive two layer finish between the two. When you put this on top it creates a layer, you can clearly see the purple straight through it so it's not like it will block out the colour of the purple. I think if you wanted to do this as a um, as a direct contrast to have two colours on the lips, I'm pretty sure you'd have to just apply them completely separately. So you'd have to basically create a blank space where you could then apply this on top. But I might try that see how it goes in the future, but it, it works pretty well. And these things, because of the way they do it, they're really easy to apply when you're out and, you know, you're out and about. And um, the ones, I, I like these things, they're, they're very straightforward to use. You can be, I find I can be much more accurate with these than I can with a lipstick. I really dislike traditional lipsticks. Um, yeah, there's, I don't, I only ever use one, and that is the MAC, purple one, which I normally pair with this purple night moth pencil, um, and that's in a colour called Rebel, which I still like that one from time to time. But having used this one, much long lasting, I think I'll stick with this purple from now on. It's a bit bold as well, the Rebel's quite dark. Anyway, so that's that's what I use at the moment. So if you're, if you're interested, the pinks that I've been using on my recent videos, it's this one, which is the MAC Retro lipstick colour Slipper Orchid, and the purple that I'm wearing at the moment, and I've been wearing in, again, some recent videos, is the MAC Retro Lipstick, and this colour is Atomized. Okay, so any questions, let me know down below. Um, I thought I'd do this because I've got a lot of questions about this. If anyone else wants to know anything about the makeup that I use, for example, always happy to share. I'm going to try and put some kind of reference into my videos about what it is I'm actually wearing, just so there's a bit more of a context to the makeup that I'm putting on and how this is appearing. Um, I, I have a very sort of stable, steady routine. I tend to use the same products over and over again. 
um, and I work with what seems to work for me and uh, but, but you know I'm a fairly regular purchaser of new things and so I, I, I will invest as wisely as I can in makeup relatively often but not too much I don't own tons of stuff and to be honest I if it works today for example I have a pink lip liner I won't buy another pink lip liner until this is gone I don't you know just I don't buy new things for the sake of it I buy new things if I've used stuff up or if I don't have it's something I don't have a different product that's really what I'll tend to buy anyway thanks for joining me for this video today any comments let me know below um, yeah just a quick update on what it is that I'm using I've got like I said the whole bag full of all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff if this looks like it's not very much that's because this is about a fifth of my products none of my other lipsticks are in here I've just got these are my essential sort of pencil shaped things oh and one tip by the way if you buy from Mac so I have here on this one um, whenever I buy online from Mac and if you buy in store they'll often give you some freebies now with that in mind don't tell them this but I never ever buy mascara and that's because as you'll see every time I buy something from Mac online and I'm offered a free gift type thing I always reject the prep and prime skincare stuff I always reject anything that um, it's only ever um, skin primers and mascaras it seems so I always get their mascaras I've got five of these little packs and then I never actually buy mascara because I just use these things up these have got plenty of them to do you could probably do 20 30 applications of mascara from one of these little packs and with that in mind why would you ever buy one don't tell them they'll stop doing it if you tell them anyway little tip doesn't help your money go that far in Mac because Mac's quite pricey but it's it seems to me to work fairly well and like I said I've not bought a mascara in three years why bother so hope you're having a great day hope that was useful to you if there are any other questions please let me know look forward to talking to you all again soon and as ever bye bye